Hey y'all, it's Allie. I, the, the camera's kind of crooked. I can't fix it. I tried and I'm, I'm trying to do this before the sun goes down. And um, I am here to talk to you about inserts. A lot of folks ask me about inserts and I have never dedicated a video just to inserts. So I'm going to talk about them today. I have a couple of fun things with some of the, uh, the insert makers, which is exciting. Well, with one of them. Oops, there it goes. Okay. There's people yelling outside. We have Teen Challenge living here right now. We, uh, Teen Challenge is a group for guys who, some of them are like ex-prisoners, cons, whatever, convicts, and they are, um, they are actually now not doing drugs and alcohol anymore, and they're, they're serving the Lord, and it's really cool. These guys have been so amazing. They can be a little loud, though, so if they're playing basketball outside, we're just going to have to deal with it. So anyway, I really love those guys. They're amazing. So anywho... Yes, inserts. I have all kinds. I've got planner inserts, inserts that I like to journal in, um, just all sorts. So I'm just not going to get any, any more blabbery on this view, but I'm just going to go straight down now, okay? Okay. I'm actually refilming this portion of my video because I'm a little more organized and um, also the listings have been updated so now I have information for y'all. The insert that I first started out with was the Midori insert blank. It's the 003. It is 64 pages. It is staple bound. Um, the paper is thinner and it's got kind of a coating on it so the stains react really well on the paper. They do not bleed through. There's no shadowing on here and they don't bleed through on the Midori paper. I get my Midori inserts from gulepens.com. They're $5.40 and you can get them blank, lined, grid, um, college ruled or whatever. But I always get the, the blank one for um, my journaling and this is like this was a the start this started out like this and it's just so much fun to at the end of your insert just to see how much has been done to it you know and here's another one so this was started out like this and this is all that i've added now obviously this one's quite a bit chunkier than that one i i just there's nothing more rewarding than to fill up one of these notebooks and at the end just have that legacy in your life or whatever so that and i'm first talking about the journaling inserts that i like so i started off with midori i have now since i used the chic sparrow this time oh there it goes again see Ugh. is it still it's like super top heavy hold on a second my goodness i had lovey in there holding it but now i gotta use okay I think everything's okay. That was scary. So scary. Okay, so I have since used now the, um, look at that cool dashboard I got was made. I can't wait to do, I need to do another setup of Lovey. Isn't that amazing? Geraldine Jane made that for me. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It just brings me happiness. It's wonderful. This is a Chic Sparrow insert. I started using the Chic Sparrow insert in personal size because she kind of, um, Jen kind of pioneered the whole personal size traveler's notebook. Here's Mr. Darcy. I'm just dropping stuff everywhere, sorry. And so for this, there wasn't many options for the uh, inserts at that time. And so she started making the personal size. And I think I have one around here. It's a friend one that we have. And so um, this paper is really lovely. It's like, thicker it's a thicker paper and it does absorb the ink a little bit more so if you really like um plow it on there and like let it sit there it will bleed through a little bit but a little bit of gesso and nothing will come through but i mean if you're doing a light staining like this is watercolor you all can see see this watercolor didn't come through and i love the way that this paper feels after watercolor has been on it. It is really fantastic. Um, here's some stains. I mean, y'all can see, this is like, this paper holds up so well. I mean, this this right here, I believe was an ink 
Maybe that was the ink, I'm not sure. But here is a stain that I did and you cannot see it on the other side. So, and there's no shadowing really either. I really enjoy this paper a lot. It has a different feel to it. I do, these are probably my favorite. These are my favorite of journaling. Although I am really enjoying Tomoe River right now too. So, um, the one thing I do love about Chic Sparrows that's better to me than the Midori is she sews her, her inserts. So, um, that may be changing now. There was a poll taken recently about that, so I'm not sure if that'll be continuing or not, but I do enjoy, I do have a couple of these, and they're sewn. So you can really do a lot of mixed media stuff on here and not have to worry about your notebook falling apart. Now, the Midori, I had said it was 64 pages, $5.40. Chic Sparrows is $5.99, and it is also 64 pages. So, but the paper, again, it's a different feeling paper, and it takes fountain pens beautifully. Um, I don't know, I just, it's, it's substantial. I just love the feeling of this paper too. So that's the Chic Sparrow paper, and she does offer it in grid, lined, and blank, I believe. And I think she has the dots too, if I'm not mistaken. I'm on here, I could probably look real quick. See, even though I'm prepared, I'm still like asking myself questions. There's a lot of information basically with this kind of a thing. Dot grid, yep, she's got blank grid, dot grid college rule. So that's Chic Sparrow. I'm really enjoying journaling in this one a lot. And then again, for, for journaling, um, I have made myself a Tomoe River uh, insert for my boys for theirs and I am really enjoying this paper too like it is so much fun the way that it takes watercolor is unreal and just oh, I just love the, the the sound of the pages after they get water on them like watercolor that crinkly sound that's just heaven to me I just love that sound Anyway, I've been, I, I made these for my boys to like kind of write them letters and kind of just like my son donated 15 inches of his hair. I mean, that is a pretty epic thing. So I wanted to make sure that he knew about that later in life. And I, I'm going to give these to them later. Um, and just this, you get a lot of paper. I mean, I just love the Tomoe River too. I am very tempted to do my next, my personal next journaling in the Tomoe River and I bought one from another company. Yeah, I really like that paper too for journaling and I just made this one myself. You can buy a ream of this stuff for like $17, $18 from jetpens.com and then I just cut it down and then I uh, sewed it with some dental floss. <laughs> that's all I had, so I sewed it with that. So anyway, so that's my little pocket one I made. So those are kind of for journaling. Now for planners, you can either go printable or you can go something that's a physical product. So I first started out with a printable um, planner from like DIY Fish. That one's not full. I think that's when I just switched the personal size but um, this one doesn't have a cover but so I printed out these classic I love this classic the month and the tracking I really really missed that this month with this tracking and so I actually bought it again in the A6 size for McDreamy so I could tip it into my bullet journaling because I do not like writing like drawing out all the tracking stuff and the monthly stuff I'm happy to just paste it in there because that's the beauty of bullet journaling I switched to bullet journaling and I'm loving it and I just need to figure out a couple more things and get my setup all done and then I'll share that setup with y'all the beauty of it is you just plaster whatever you want in there you can do whatever you want in your bullet journal it's, there's no rules I just I don't like rules <laughs> so anyway um, I did was printing out these DIY fish ones and I love her inserts I used them for a long time but I was tired of fussing with the printer honestly her inserts my printer and her inserts they just weren't it was hard i was basically printing out like three sets and doing it wrong and i was getting really tired of it so i stopped um, printing them out the cool thing about buying them again though is i'm just cutting them out and pasting them in my thing i don't have to worry about binding them she does have good instructions on how to bind them but it just wasn't working for me and it was really frustrating so 
I stopped. So that was one of my favorites, and they all range. They all range from, you know, like eight to ten dollars to thirty dollars for the year, depending on what size you get and stuff. So that's DIY fish. Another printable that I used that I enjoyed was the paw, and this is the one I just came out of, the Paws Plan Create. And it's uh, from Australia, the ladies in Australia. Haley is her name. And she, I printed this out and I cut it. And it's a very awesome little insert. I did enjoy this insert very much. And it's got like financial stuff. And it's my awesome, I love the week on one page with the notes on the other. But I was finding I'm just way too busy. I can't even like get everything I need to on these pages. So that's why I went to the bullet journaling. Loved this planner though. I really did. This, again, you print it out yourself and it is extremely reasonable. Extremely reasonable. It's awesome. I have notes for what to link. So yeah, that's another printable. Moving on to, to the actual physical products and you know what I forgot to mention so let me see here I ordered I'm kind of taking a back pedal here to the journaling inserts it's hard because some of these places that I've bought from I, I'm gonna use them for bullet journaling and journaling so like remember how I said I'm, I'm tempted to use the Tomoe River paper for my personal journaling well this is that insert it's from paper penguin uh, her name's dominique and she's in houston she's a texas gal so excited about that and this is the tomoe river paper oh my gosh and this is the standard size so um, i'm really really tempted i think i'm going to try it out it's my next insert just because i'm loving the way that paper feels and looks after after you journal on it and these are Let's see, the standard one, it's, they're 80 pages, which is very generous, and it is $8 for the standard, and for like this little A6, it's $7, and I think it's $6 for that pocket size, feel note size. It is stapled, though. That's the one thing. I mean, it's not bad that it's stapled, but I'm all, I, what I like to do is put a piece of washi tape down the middle not only will it help try to keep these pages in there but also it will help your elastic stay safer because sometimes when these uh, staples rub against the elastic for a while then they kind of rub against that they rub against it and it kind of wears them out so i put a little piece of washi right there it, it doesn't it's not hard to do so anywho that is the standard Tomoe and then this is the a6 Tomoe and grid and this is what I will be using my bullet journal um, I made my own bullet journal with some purple grid and Tomoe river paper But I mean this one looks so much nicer Than the one that I did Although I do have my awesome fun girl on there, which I love and I'll share that when I get settled in But this is paper penguin company really cool the next company is Frazzizzle Made, and Taylor also makes the Tomoe River uh, paper in her. So this is an A6. Um, it is stapled, and again, just a little bit of, you know, washi, no problem. And this looks like a lot of paper, too. The A6 size for Frazzizzle is $7, and the standard is also $8. So it's the same price as Paper Penguin. And um, so yeah, I can journal on this too if I want. And then the other one that I have from her, let me go grab it real quick. The one thing I had to have from Taylor, and I had it before in um, Mr. Darcy, her monthly. I See how I put the washi tape right there? It just kind of helps protect my little elastic. Anyway, I had to have this for McDreamy. Oh, and here's the, there's the one I made, my bullet journal. Just a little quick peek of stuff how it's going so far it's going pretty good so anyway so i wanted one and wanted her month on two pages i love this i love this and some people might think it's like repetitive and it shouldn't be here but this is all 12 months and in my bullet journal i only have like a few months or the month at right at that time this really helps me with future planning whenever i'm setting up stuff way way far in advance so this i think is the same price i think i'm not sure maybe not um let me look yeah it's the same price a six seven dollars so i had to had to have a have that um which is the month and so that's for zizzle made she does the tomoe river she has all sorts of different kind of inserts and really enjoying that notebook 
And yeah, she's amazing. You should go check her out. She's awesome. Now my last insert maker that I'm talking about today is Stilo Papers. And I kind of did a little collaboration with her. Before I got Haley's at Paws Plans Create, um, I was really loving this uh, layout for planning. I, I really love this two years, you know, how to view the monthly with the previous month and the future month and all these notes space one thing my one thing to focus on this month this is a planner a, a physical item that you can buy from her very nice quality extremely nice quality the paper is nice I think I even like put some distress stain on one of these and it did not bleed through and then she has the week on one page notes on the other but she kind of splits up the notes like goals for this week must do to buy notes and plan ahead and I was really excited about using this but I did not get it in time when I had to have something I mean I just I feel lost if I don't have a planner so I had to uh, get something quick so I printed out Haley's but if I were to go back to this type you know to not doing the bullet journal I would use Leanne's over at Stilo Papers, papers because I just really like the simplicity of it and here's some forward planning stuff lots of note spaces in here just all sorts of awesome stuff and and this is I think she does three months at a time and I mean even the binding if you look at it it's not like it's folded in half it's it's like it's folded and then folded so you have this nice binding and it is stapled so again washi tape is what I do so that's her planner inserts but then I was asking her I needed badly I mean look at this this is my notes for this video <laughs> I needed badly a way to organize YouTube videos if I were to, I wanted to continue to film and there's lots of ideas that I have but I just did not have a, a way to organize them and so I sent her a sketch of some things that I was kind of needing to help me organize and I said can you look at it can you see you know what's out there what could help you you know with making this for me and she totally designed this for me I am so happy with it so stinking happy so basically it has let me just flip to this page there's this is for all my youtube folks if y'all want to like try to you know be more organized with your videos maybe you already have a system but i didn't but this one's a new video the idea topic video title and target publish date props setup aesthetics links needed uh hello i need to do that all the time tags this is also really beneficial for like i'm always at the last minute like what do i type in <laughs> you know for the um when i'm uploading a video i have you have an outline or main ideas this will hopefully help me stop bunny trailing all the time like for this video this is what i have and that's really helped me a lot <laughs> i mean i'm sure I will bunny trail still because it's just part of who I am. I like bunny trails. Anyway, but it'll help me not get quite off the trail. <laughs> um, shout outs, thanks, collab. I love all that. And I love posting, getting social. You can check off where you posted it. And then you can you put your prepping time, film, date complete, edit, date complete, publish, date complete. This is brilliant i am so excited about it and then this last page she hadn't had it yet but this last page is going to be at just an idea log like a video idea log and and you can list them all out because sometimes i'll have an idea for a video and some time will pass and it's irrelevant or i just don't feel like filming it anymore and it would be a shame to use up you know idea topic right here and then I don't know to me I don't like scratching stuff out as much as I can basically you can harvest your videos the ones that you really want to do from the back that way you're not this is right now it's a half of the the spread but it'll be back here take them from here put them up here and then start your planning for your videos oh my gosh I'm just so Leanne this is a great great layout I am so excited about it and here's the other cool thing I did some art work for the um and artwork like I splashed some watercolor on a page and did some little crosses, um, the modern cross thing. I sent this to her and she made it a cover. So it's kind of my exclusive cover 
for all of her planners. I believe that you can, even if you wanted to say this planner, you can ask for my cover to be on that planner, which is kind of cool. And then I sent her a bunch of different like PNGs, different colors like mint and you know, this chartreuse color and all that to put your name on there. Like this one has choose joy, but then I, you know, she has a YouTube planner and she has my name on there. And so anyway, I just was really excited about this YouTube planner. I'm so excited about it. I can't say it enough. And so go visit Leanne over there, YouTubers, my YouTube friends, and, and see if that would be something you would benefit from. And then anybody who wants to check out her inserts, um, if you'd like my cover on there, you can ask for that too. I think that is it. Oh, oh yes. And so Leanne's, I wanted to say mention here, the standard size for her planner insert is $9.90. And it goes up and down. She has got on her listing for the YouTube insert, the sizes are um, the big wide size is $10.90. The standard size is $9.90. The personal size right here is $8.90. And then she even is going to do a little pocket size for all my friends over at the tiny the teeny tiny planning folks over there in that group, which I'm loving seeing all your stuff, that's $7.90 for the pocket size. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm super excited about it. That is the price for those. And she's got all sorts of stuff. She's got planner ones. She's got the YouTube one now. And then she's got like blank lined grid. Um, here's the grid one. And they are stapled. I think I mentioned that already. And just, you know, the whole tape thing is what I do. But yeah. So I kind of went insert crazy to try to share some of my favorite inserts and stuff. I am set for a while, I think. <laughs> I hope that was helpful for y'all and if you have any questions please leave me uh, them down below and I'll try to answer them as, as quickly as I can. I am quite busy lately with uh, setting up my business. I've got a new website coming which I'm extremely excited about. It will be AllieBrownDesigns.com and it's all my stickers and hopefully will grow into more with journaling and stuff. Hopefully soon. Isn't this cute? Gina over at uh, Planners and Lace sent me this fun little pom-pom poopy thing for Lovey. I'm pretty excited about it. I like it. Anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Bye. It's a dump truck convention.